Hey guys, Brian here. Welcome back to Outside the Shop. So, out here today, I've been brought this common swap conversion that has a running issue where when they start it up, it takes off and runs away. So, not sure what they've got wrong, but we're going to have to figure it out. So I guess let's take a look. Well, apparently they've got a charge air cooler in here. This is a rotary pump engine. That fuel line is not supposed to be bent like that. Over top of the arm, it's rubbing on it. It's not even touching the idle screw. They do have a return and a pickup line, so. I don't know if that's going to be the issue. Could be sucking air somewhere though. And it looks like I got a BD power turbo on here. This thing's set up for some boost. Got the exhaust run out. Some big tall tires. I only got a five bolt though, I guess can't keep up with banks. This is a C10 of some kind. 60 something or another. I don't know what year it is, I'm not that up on my Chevys. Who knows, it could be a 67 like my Dodge. So, yeah, there's the intercooler. The intercooler looks nice. Big fancy radiator. Fan clears. See anything crazy with the fuel lines? Uh, we got the boss coming to check things out. Be sure I'm doing what I'm supposed to be. What do you think, Bailey? Yeah, we'll get it fixed. Well, I guess let me fire us up and I'll show you what it's doing. Yeah, it's not supposed to do that. Well, I got the top off the pump down in there to where I can inspect it. And I found the governor appeared to be froze up. So I've gotten it freed up where it's working. I'd say it's where it's sat with no fuel in it. It just gummed up. The, uh, they didn't have the indexing right on this throttle linkage either, so I fixed that. And the AFC control, that little pin down in there you see, it was froze up and it wasn't working either. So I've gotten it freed up. So now I'm just gonna stick this thing back together down on there. And I'm not gonna show you a whole lot about that because truth is, if you need me to show you a lot about that, you probably don't need to be working on this because this can very easily all be messed up. One of the common things people do is they want to put a governor spring in here so they take his top off and then they get the fuel screw hung up against the control lever when they bolt it back down on the top and either break this off or bend it. This one was bent. I already straightened it out but uh, this was bent over this way to where the screw wouldn't hit it either, so the governor was out of control. So I've got that fixed, and I got the governor fixed where it's free. So I think this is gonna work now. So we get it put back together and we'll see. Well, I know the fueling adjustments will be all out of whack, but uh, Maybe it'll be close enough for me to get this thing to run. So I must have figured I needed some maximum RPMs on that throttle linkage. It's way too short. All right.
Well, the idle's a little too low, but looks like at least I got that part or one part fixed. Success. Let me button this back up. We'll see what happens. Well, that's going to be it for this job. So, it runs and it drives now. And I fixed what I was asked to fix. So, looks like I got a lot more work left to do on this thing to get it roadworthy. But, it seems to run okay, for, especially for just old first-gen motor. So, thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. I'll catch y'all later.